Welcome. Let's plays. Game plays. DIY projects. Two. Arcade gaming. Snowly game, 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 game. Hey, how's it going? Z Man the Tech here. And thank you for tuning in to Snowly Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. Right about now, I want to check out one of the earlier titles that hit the eShop. Um, because if, if those who remember, there actually weren't um, too many titles when the Switch, on, on the eShop at least, when the Switch first came out. And uh, this is one of those titles that slowly kind of showed up, and uh, it's called Skyride, and uh, it's actually by one of my favorite uh, indie developers named. Uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing this correctly. Uh, Mutan, or Mutan. Um, they recently released uh, Gunya Fighter, so I'm like, oh man, they have another game on here. I'm gonna check it out. And I actually seen the game quite some time ago, but I wasn't too sure about it. A lot of YouTubers. Uh, you know, I'm not going to name any names, but <laughs> there's been a few that have kind of, you know, shat on this game, um, unfortunately. And uh, I don't know, I messed around with it and uh, the controls were a little wonky, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually not too bad. Um, and then also uh, adjusting the uh, stick sensitivity, that, that helps as well. But once you do that, it's, you know, it's kind of fun. You know, once you get to hang out what it is you're doing, because there isn't really too much narrative on that either, or directive. So anyway, without much further ado, we're gonna go ahead and hop in. And it literally just starts like this. This is the title screen. Um, it doesn't start until you hit plus, <laughs> but this is it. You can kind of move around as well. Um, so also a brief overview. Well, I'll, I'll explain as I play. So a brief overview of the controls. Um, there is some flexibility to it, but uh, Let's see here. You can... Oh! <laughs> there is... I thought there was a uh, a boost button here. I'm trying to find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, basically, you have... Um, you can go on water and in the air. Now, the, the reticule is a little weird. Um... Reticle, rather. Probably said that wrong. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so if you hit the... I think my current configuration right now is left trigger for... Left trigger for your, um... Standard missiles. But your regular shot is, uh... Is, is the right trigger. And I would have liked it better if it was... You know, kind of like a, a rapid fire kind of thing. You have to literally press it um, each time you want to shoot. So, uh, for some that might be a little daunting, but yeah, I mean it, it's doable once you get the hang of it. You know, as you can see graphically, it's not you know it's not the best looking game, but um, as we can tell right now, what it is is you're just shooting these little lantern things. Um, I'm looking for a bit of a counter. Oh, okay. Looks like, I think it says Emerging Enemy 133. So, when it gets cluttered like that, use the X button, and you can knock out a whole bunch at one time, you see? Um, shoot. Okay, yeah, I'm looking for a, an energy meter or an ammo um, indicator because after a certain amount of s shots, you can't shoot anymore. I noticed that. And as I was testing this out, I also found that there was a, uh, I got to a, some kind of a boss that was pretty, pretty gnarly. Um, it took me a, 
I think I got it in the first try, but I almost died. And the music is actually not too bad. I, I kind of dig it. Well, I really dig it, actually. It reminds me of, like, um... Man, I'm trying to put a put a finger on it, but it kind of has like a. Uh, it's definitely, you know, anime esque kind of. You know what I'm saying? It definitely feels like uh, a style that I've heard in a lot of Japanese anime. I, I, I like that a lot. Oh shoot! <laughs> yeah, they're trying to bat me in a corner. Oh, what is that? Okay, and the reason I'm also covering this is because, like I said, it it had an interesting launch. Not many people took to it. Um, there it is. Got to him quicker this time. It had an interesting launch, and uh, it's actually on a huge sale right now. I think it's like 70 cents right now at the time of this uh, video. So, boom. Oh, I'm too good at this now. <laughs> oh! Oh, shoot. Yo, 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 yo. Can I hit it with that? Is it dead? Ooh! Boom, get him. Oh, see, I'm missing a whole bunch of those crystal things. A lot of things died at that moment. <laughs> Jeez. It was a pretty big explosion. Oh, here we go. They were waiting for me. I don't know if, if anyone's reached out to the support team about the controls. Um, like I said, it, it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. But I think the targeting system could be a little more intuitive. A little bit. Um, it's, it's a little too loose. Like it, it goes right back to the center, so to speak. Like I think if you had a little more control with it, using, of course, the right stick that you have to use, um, I think it could be you know, a little more user-friendly uh, by doing so. Oh, sh- ah! So this is the farthest I've been. I, I haven't really played anything past that little first boss there. Oh, God. Yo, they are on my six like crazy. Hold on. Oh god. <laughs> okay. I'm like all into it, like I needed to do the movements, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, it, as far as like the style and approach, oh no, I blew up, no! <laughs> so as far as like the style and approach that was taken for the, uh, for like the main menu and things like that, um, I think it would have been a little more inviting to, to kind of have like a, a differentiator of you know a title screen and then you know some options that you can change from there now just just to make sure let me see if you can do it from the main screen here there we go so when you're in game you're able to actually pause it go to your settings you know there's not too much but there there are some things that you can at least kind of you know map the controls and things like that which does help as shown here you know 
Gatling laser, missile, bomb, photon beam, boost, boost cartridge, braking, which I've never used. <laughs> and uh, oh, you can reset the camera. That's interesting. I have to give that a shot. And then camera tilting. And then you can uh, change the camera from uh, regular normal or inverted. I have mine on normal because it was that much easier to control. Like I think when you first start it, it actually is inverted. Um, that may be fine for some, but you know, thankfully the option is there and I just wanted to kind of, you know, showcase that. Uh, as far as audio, pretty cut and dry. BGM, sound effects, and that's pretty much it. Um, and you've got your credits, of course, you know. Thanks to the team there at uh, Mutan. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, but yeah, if you uh, like what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. And remember to keep it locked to Snowly Games. Thanks. Appreciate you.